Hello, this is Timothy Perfit from Two Canoes Software, and I want to show you how to use the MDM service in MDS3. Um, it allows you to have uh, increased functionality for post deployment of your machines. Also allows you to take advantage of the DEP device enrollment program. Um, and you can set commands like uh, install a profile, shut down advice, restart advice, install applications, a whole suite of MDM commands to be able to uh, keep your Macs up to date. So let me show you how to go about setting up the MDM service inside of MDS. So I've already opened up MDS here. Um, it's the MDM service is based on Micro MDM, a great open source project. Um, and uh, the first thing we need to do is be able to configure the MDM service. So the first thing you notice is that all the buttons are grayed out and I've already unlocked it by putting in my admin credentials. So I'll go ahead and start the service. Um, in order to configure the service because it is a uh, service that runs in the background, uh, it communicates from the M MDS app to the MDM service. So we have to start it up first. Um, first thing it tells me is there's no push certificate uh, found, so we need to get one of those. This a push certificate is required to send uh, notifications to clients to check into the MDM server. So that's required. And the push certificate is special because it is uh, a, a certificate that you get from an MDM uh, vendor, which Two Canoes is one of them, and uh, then is signed by the MDM vendor, submitted to Apple, that then issues the push certificate, which is then imported back into MDS. So uh, MDS will walk you through the process. So we'll click on OK and we'll just click on configure push certificate. So the first thing to do is save request. And this is just a request to the MDM vendor to, to uh, be able to start managing machines. So I'll put in that we're in the United States and I'll just put in my email address. And I'll save this to my desktop. And you can see that it is called Unsigned CSR to Upload to Two Canoes. So um, first thing we'll do is uh, you can see in here it says Open Two Canoes Profile Page. So we'll click on that. And since I'm already signed in, I'll be able to go ahead and directly upload uh, this certificate request that I saved on my desktop. So simple enough. And I'll click on Sign. That's finished. Now I can click on the Download Vendor Sign CSR. And that'll go ahead and download it. I have it here. And let me just go ahead and move that to the desktop. And it, you can see that the name of it says uh, Upload This to Apple. So we can go back to uh, MDS and you can see the next step is Apple Push Certificate Portal. So we'll go there. And you don't need to have a paid account, you just need to have any uh, uh, Apple ID to sign in to be able to use this certificate. Okay, now I've, I've signed in. I just click on create a certificate, agree to the terms and conditions, and upload the file that I saved my desktop, which is the upload this to Apple certificate. And I'll click on upload. So that's done. Now I'll download the actual signed MDM certificate from Apple. And there it is. And again, I'll move this again to my desktop. And now I can close these. And the final step is import push certificate. And so we'll go ahead and do the MDM to Canoe software certificate. And now the push certificate has been successfully imported. So now I have a fully functioning uh, uh, MDM service now. And if I stop the service and start it up again, you can should see that the push certificate uh, is now green. So now we can go ahead and test out the MDM service. I'll open up the enrollment page. You can see that I, I now can enroll a device. So I will um, actually go to a test. I have a Mac mini here um, that I'll now enroll in and start managing. Okay, now I'll go ahead and click on enroll, enroll a device. It'll prompt if I want to allow this. And it automatically opened up the enrollment profile. I'll give my configuration or my admin username and password. And uh, from there, you can see that I am now enrolled. And so if I go back to MDS, you should see under devices, if I refresh, I now see I have an enrolled computer. And I can start doing uh, different managed uh, different managed 
meant of that one. First thing I'll do is I'll request updated information. So it'll go out and grab the serial number and all the information about it, what profiles installed, the security settings, any certificates that are installed. Um, I can also do some MDM commands. So if I go up to MDM and I can go install application, install profile, what I want to do, I'll just do a simple restart device. It'll send the MDM command to restart that Mac. So that's go that's done. So that's that's how you would set up the MDM service to allow you to, to install it. You can use uh, you can do enrollment with uh, a workflow in MDS as well. And so if we were to go to the settings and go to the enrollment page, if we just download this enrollment profile here, this enrollment profile, and I'll move to the desktop, and then on the desktop here. I can take this and put it into a workflow. So in uh, under profiles, I uh, currently have the JAMP ones in here, so I'll remove that and I'll add the MDS one in. And now when I go back to MDS, I uh, can go to my workflows, and I'll edit my workflow, and under resources, under profiles, I just select the folder that has that one, and here's the enrollment profile. So next time I run this workflow, uh, that um, that uh, configuration profile will be installed and the machine will be enrolled in MDM. And then I can start being able to manage it. Um, the next uh, piece I want to show you is how to configure DEP because one of the nice things about uh, machines that have been enrolled in the, the DEP or device enrollment program is that they can automatically uh, be um, assigned to an MDM um, from the fact or well configure to check in uh, and get the configuration for enrolling in an MDM. So let me show you how to set that up. So we'll go back to the micro MDM service and under settings there is uh, I have to unlock it because it's uh, it locks after five minutes and I can do configure uh, DEP token. So that is the uh, token that's used for um, allowing you to communicate with Apple's DEP service. It requires that you have a, uh, a, D, a DEP account set up like Apple Business Manager or Apple School Manager. So once you have that set up, you can go to Export Private Key and we'll just save that to the desktop. And then we'll upload it to Apple, download the um, DEP token, and then we'll be able to um, uh, manage the uh, DEP uh, settings. So now in order to do that, Either go to school.apple.com or business.apple.com in order to uh, configure the DEP token. Okay, now that I've logged into my business, bis, Apple Business Manager, I'll add an MDM server, which is this MDS MDM server. And I will uh, select that file, the um, request the DEP to public key, and I'll save it. Okay, now it has uh, been um, the DEP token has been uploaded. Um, and so now we have uh, have that uh, token, or we upload that private key, so now I can go ahead and download the token. And that token goes here to the MDS server token, so I will move that to the desktop, and that's gonna be important in MDS to allow me to talk to Apple Business Manager. So let me go ahead and do that next. So under settings, I can go to the configure DEP token. Now I can do this import DEP token option. And you can see here it is, MDS MDM server token, and now it's done. And if we uh, cycle the service, the micro MDM service, we should now have all three lit up. There we do. So we have MDM service, push certificate, and the DEP token is now able to communicate with Apple Business Manager. Um, so now what we can do is configure the MDM profile. What this MDM profile is, this is the initial profile that a Mac that is enrolled in DEP gets to set it up. So uh, we'll find a call at MDS DEP profile. We'll call, we'll put our phone number in and uh, the support email address. Those are all required fields. It's automatically added in the MDS service URL for this machine. So we don't need to do that. And um, it'll include the MDM service to trust it. So um, this is a nice uh, feature to be able to do that. And then the proof of profile is removable, leave that set for now. Then we have options for the setup assistant. So let's uh, 
select all will skip all the different options so it's really easy to set up you can you can uh, you can manage these if you want to um, we can install packages scripts and profiles for us right now we won't do that uh, we will uh, add in a uh, user account through MDM and we can have their options for in the MDM service is the uh, make user account uh, normal user we want to unselect that so it's an admin user we can actually have them enroll in monkey as well if we wanted to and some options enable SSH uh, allow screen sharing and ARD which are a great feature so I will go ahead and do that when I click on update it creates that configuration profile and uploads it to Apple servers so at this point when I start up a brand new machine from the factory that's enrolled in MDM I'll be able to uh, it'll get those uh, well, sorry, when I get a brand new machine that is enrolled in DEP, it'll, when on first power on, when it gets to the setup assistant, it will um, uh, automatically, or will allow you to roll in remote management, which will grab that, MD, that uh, MDM configuration and put it onto uh, the machine, and you'll automatically start managing it. So let me uh, show you how that works. I'll go back to Apple Business Manager. I want to actually add in that machine. So we'll go to device assignment. I'll put in the serial number for this machine. And I'll say assign to server. And I'll choose my uh, MDS MDM server. I'll hit done. Okay. And so now it's that's been assigned. I do have to go back in... Um, MDS and do configure MDM profile and do update when you actually update the profile it assigns that to that machine so um, now we're all set so now if we were to um, reboot or, or set up a uh, Mac for DEP or a brand new Mac it would be enrolled in that MDM and I'd be able to start managing it so thanks very much for watching uh, please click on subscribe and give me a like it makes me happy as well as check out our product page at twocanoes.com slash MDS for the most up-to-date information on uh, MDS. Thanks very much for watching.